Yo, 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 what is good? It's your boy Joe Fit Johnson here back at it again, bringing y'all some fire content, some knowledge, some wisdom, some inspiration, motivation, insight, whatever you whatever you take away from this. Um, what I like to talk about here on Joe Fit Johnson YouTube channel is a little bit of entrepreneurship, fitness, lifestyle, mindset, um, building wealth, building financial freedom. Everything around those guidelines is what you will find here. Um, so pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about today is motivation right this is something that a lot of people always ask me when it comes to you know their fitness goals when it comes to their life goals their personal goals it's how do you stay motivated right how do you stay motivated this is a big question that everyone always asks this is a big question that people kind of like lean on and not even a question this is a big um a big hurdle that people struggle with right they're like I'm not motivated to work out. I'm not motivated to do X, Y, and Z, right? And the thing is, when it comes to motivation, there's a few there's a few tactics that you can use when it comes to helping you get into that state of motivation, right? One of the things that I used to do when I first started my fitness journey is find inspiration, right? Find inspiration that triggers that motivation. So what I used to do when I first started my YouTube journey is I used to watch these YouTubers Christian Guzman, David Layden, the crew, um, Matt Ogis, just some bodybuilders, right? I was skinny. I was looking to get big. Um, so my Instagram, I followed more fitness people. My um, YouTube, I was following their lifestyle, seeing how they eat, seeing how they train, um, and kind of following them throughout their lifestyle. This helped me stay motivated. This helped get me motivated because I'd be sitting there like, oh, I don't really feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like eating this food. I don't feel like, and then I go and watch those guys. And I see them just get a, a good workout in, you know what I'm saying? I see their physique. I'm like, man, I got to get there, you know what I'm saying? So that's something that helped me trigger that state of motivation. And you can do that with all things, like with building a business, right? Nowadays, fitness, is it's engraved in me at this point. So I don't really, and I'll touch on this in a second, I don't depend on motivation in order to go to the gym, right? Starting out. You may depend on that motivation, right? And I'm going to talk about it later, but you don't want to depend on motivation to complete the task at hand for your goals or else you're never really going to complete the task because like I said, motivation is a state, right? So um, even, right, <clears throat> even right now when it comes to building businesses, building financial freedom, um, I trigger my state of motivation by watching people that are where I want to be, right? I watch their lifestyle. I, I see them traveling. I see them building their businesses. I you know, watch videos of, of their mindset, right? And what this does is this allows me to kind of get inspired, right? And by getting inspired, I get motivated. I'm like, all right, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So that's a really good way to kind of trigger that state of motivation. Follow more inspiration. Unfollow the, the video vixens and the Instagram um, thirst trappers and people that may trigger you to go down a different path, right? Um, people that may trigger your, your mind to go elsewhere. You want to you want to follow people that are inspiring. You want to follow people that are motivational, people that are where you want to get to. So when you're scrolling on your timeline, as we know we all are doing because we're highly, we're highly addicted to these to these phones, at least when you're scrolling on these phones, you're getting a, a sense of inspiration. You're getting a sense of motivation. You may be getting some knowledge. You may be learning something. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just scrolling and getting like, damn, she's fine or dang, like he's whatever. You know what I'm saying? So be more intentional with the the time that you're spending on social media and how you are spending it and what kind of content you're, create, uh, you're consuming um, in order to help with your personal goals, right? So that's that's one way as far as triggering that motivational state. That's something that I did that helped out a lot. But what I want to really talk about is the fact that you don't want to depend on motivation when it comes to completing your goals, right? Not even completing your goals, but completing the task that will get you to accomplish your goals, right? Because like I continue to say, motivation is a state of being, right? Motivation is something that comes and goes. You may be motivated one day. You may be motivated. You may not be motivated the next day. You get what I'm saying? So how inconsistent motivation is you don't want that same kind of inconsistency in your, your your gym routine in your 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 work ethic right so something that you must focus on and something that you must be self-aware of and something that you must f fucking just practice you know what i mean mindfully practice is being disciplined right and the best way to do this is to start by doing the small things that you usually wouldn't do. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, uh, um, you usually don't do the dishes or you usually don't 
wipe down the counter after you cook or you usually don't just like small disciplinary actions that will help you to build your confidence in yourself with being disciplined right so then when it trickles along to fitness it's a little bit easier for you because you have that confidence within yourself to complete the task at hand for your goals you know that you're good at doing the things that you don't feel like doing because you started off with smaller habits right another thing is just the hardest part with fitness with the gym with working out consistently is starting right it's starting and getting there right so a great disciplinary action that you can start practicing is simply promising to get yourself to start get yourself in the car to the gym start putting your shoes on put on your workout outfit you know what I'm saying get yourself to your workout space that's the hardest part right that's how you build discipline by routine habit and force you get what I'm saying and working on your mindset working on your mindset and then most importantly is understanding why right so another way that you can tap into this motivational state is by tapping into your why right whether that be daily whether that be weekly right know why your goal is X Y and Z and then understand why it's important for you to accomplish that goal right and if you have associating factors that associate associating factors outside of yourself for those goals then you're more motivated to complete those goals like if you have to or you want to build a business or you want to get fit for your kids because you want to teach them how to be able to eat healthier because you weren't taught that growing up you have a deeper why than yourself or if you want to just get in shape because you want to be able to throw the football around with your kids and run around the park with your kids that's a deep why more than just oh I just want to have a six pack I mean, even if that's your why, if you just want a six pack because you never had one and maybe you just went through a breakup and you trying to, you know what I mean, shit on your ex, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever that why is, you must channel that why and really figure out why it's important to you, right? When I started, my why was deep. I, people were sleeping on me, you know what I'm saying? I was told that I couldn't put on muscle mass. I had struggled for years to put on muscle mass. I had a list. Girls used to tell me, oh my gosh, Joe, you're going to be so fine when you get older. Oh my gosh, you're so skinny. Y'all, I had a chip on my list. So when I was in there, I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, little Joe Ware. You get know what I'm saying? So whatever your why is, at first, my why wasn't super deep in terms of like health and, you know, wanting to learn and inspire others. Like all that wasn't a part of the plan. Out the gate, I'm just like, I'm trying to get big joe out here you feel me i'm trying to i got a list a hit list coming you feel me ain't no little joe right so that was that was a little bit of my why coming out the gate you feel me so channel your why right whether it be for you whether it be for you and your loved ones when you have other people that is for as well it just helps to intensify that why right a lot of my why when it comes to business and financial freedom is my family right so that's why i complete the task that i need to complete even when I don't feel like it necessarily, right? And it, I still struggle with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is an ongoing, this is an ongoing practice. This is an ongoing, you know what I mean? Um, habit to build, being disciplined, being able to, I'm gonna say this a lot, accomplish and complete the task at hand for your goals, right? Because like I said before, if you're only completing the task when you feel motivated, you're gonna be inconsistent. And inconsistency is gonna lead you to where? Nowhere, right? So. Practice that discipline, focus on your why, get clear on your why. And something that helps with this that I learned from uh, some of my mentors is writing down your goals. If not every day, if not every other day, the more the better, right? So if you can get into the habit of writing down your goals, 10 goals every day, you know what I'm saying? Grant Cardone says he, he keeps a notepad. Was it Grant? He keeps a notepad on the side of his bed. Every day he wakes up, he writes down his goals. You know what I'm saying? So when you write down your goals and you're keeping your goals in the front of your mind, it's a lot easier to stay motivated and just stay focused on those goals, right? Next layer would be writing down your goals, but then also writing down your why. This is something that I have my clients practice in terms of their fitness goals so that we can remember, like, why are we even doing this? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you want to go to the gym? Why do you want to learn how to eat better? You know what I'm saying? This is a practice to understand because if you're just doing something just out of doing it, it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna stand it's not gonna last for the long term all right 
yeah, I think that I think that really covers it, y'all. When it comes to motivation, um, like I said, you can tap into some external resources in terms of getting you motivated, listening to motivational videos, watching YouTubers or Instagrams or TikTokers, whoever like inspires you. Watch that when you don't feel like going to the gym. Watch that when you don't feel like meal prepping. You know what I'm saying? Look at something that inspires you. Get clear on your why. You know what I'm saying? Know why you want to do something, why you have to do something. You don't have to. Another way that you can switch switch around that mindset in terms of like, oh, I have to go to the gym or, oh, I have to meal prep. It's like, no, you get to go to the gym. There's people that wish they could go to the gym. There's people that wish they had legs to be able to do leg day. There's people that wish they, you know what I'm saying? So also shifting that perspective in terms of you get to work out. You know what I'm saying? You get to go on the computer and build a business. You get what I'm saying? You get to go and clock into your job and you know what I mean? Make money and provide for your family. A lot of people wish they could do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's also shifting perspective. No, that's not the most motivating thing, but it helps you to change perspective to be like, man, let me go ahead and be grateful. Let me be go ahead and it, it just shifts it. You know, when I be like, man, I'm, uh, I get to go work out today. Like, I can imagine what I would be doing if I couldn't work out. Like that would just that would just kill me. You know what I'm saying? So when I go in there, I'm working out with a whole different sense of gratitude. And gratitude is something that's so important that I'll touch on more in later videos, right? Gratitude being um yeah, we'll touch into that in more videos. So um I hope that this helps some of y'all when it comes to, you know, finding your motivation, finding your why, and most importantly, practicing that discipline. Because that's the key to success at the end of the day right? It's that discipline, all right? So this content helped you out. If you like this content, go ahead, rock with your boy. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, follow me on the gram, follow me on TikTok. You know the vibes, good vibes always. Um, much love. Thanks for watching. Gang. Oh yeah. And go cop you a, go cop you a dope not famous tank, man, because we believe in being dope, man. Fuck the fame. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna stay dope. We gonna stay original. We gonna keep you know, being cozy and shit, you feel me? So, oh, and this is the dope, not, not famous sweater, you feel me? Real good quality, you know what I'm saying? Dope, not famous.com. Chill.